Your Holiness, uh, respected Dr. Gadia, Professor Sempa Dorje, and Dr. Agarwal, thank you so much for your inspiring presence here. Thank you very much for inviting me to speak. Though I don't particularly deserve the honor of representing Kibi because of my limited ability to be present for you. But I'm very, very grateful, so grateful, to share with you in the opportunity that we all have together to contribute to fulfilling Kunsik Shama Rinpoche's wishes. Fulfilling Rinpoche's wishes, and for me this includes everything that I try to do for Kibi, is what gives meaning and direction to my life. So I'm very happy to share that with you as a common goal. Kibi has been a center for uh, highest quality education in Buddha Dharma for more than 20 years. And according to the very far-sighted vision of His Holiness the 16th Gawa Karmapa, Kunsik Shama Rinpoche, and now under the guidance of His Holiness the 17th Karmapa, it has continuously been a part of Kibi's mandate to improve our methods and our programs by gradually integrating the jewel of Buddha's teachings with modern academic methods. With the kind support and guidance of our friends at Mewar University, <coughs> our Kibi academic board, our faculty members, and of course, the hard work of our students. In the past three years, we have finally been able to integrate these to the extent that for the first time in our history, we're seeing a batch of our students graduating with a BA from Mewar University, and this is a cause for so much rejoicing. Today's beautiful celebration is a taste, we could say a prelude to the convocation that will take place later in Chittorgarh at Mewar University, and we very much look forward to that as well. Um, for today, we're very grateful that you're sharing with us this um, very meaningful event that represents the fruit of the labor of so many people over so many years. In particular, I would like to express my deep gratitude to His Holiness, to Dr. Gadia, to Professor Sempa Dorje and Dr. Agarwal, to my colleagues, the faculty and staff, all of our dedicated teaching staff, Kempo Lopsang, our Geshe La, uh, Kempo Tsering, who isn't here today, but I know he's with us in spirit, to Durta Kamarit, who has been here teaching devotedly for years. Thank you so much. To Carol Wilson, who uh, also is not with us today, but I'm sure is with us in spirit. And Rolf Scheuermann, who um, shares with me the difficulties presented by geography. Uh, and of course, to Inka Wolf, um, who is my not only tireless assistant, but also a very valuable interpreter and teacher here. So thank you. Uh, I would also like to thank um, the many, many people who take care of us here, who feed us and keep Kibi beautiful. For today in particular, um, Bettina and Martine, uh, it looks so beautiful. Thank you so much. And Kempo Mriti, who has been absent from my thank yous so far um, because he's getting a longer one from me today. What you have done for Kiwi really cannot be measured. I really wouldn't know where to begin listing what you have made possible for all of us here. Your tenacity, your persistence, your commitment, your relentless honesty, your relentless hard work. You're such a wonderful colleague and teacher and friend. And I hope that we are going to find ways to work together for many, many years to come. Now, I will shift my attention to the stars of the day, our students, our graduating students. Um, first, if I may, with a, a little bit of mother hen-like pride, um, point out our three top performing students in the graduating class. Uh, first, Asaka, um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> And Eric. And Maria. The congratulations, of course, belong to all of you, but it's really nice to, um, to make a special note, the three of you, so I'm glowing at you. Um, congratulations for topping the class. 
By now, you have all been here for three years or more, in some cases, um, working yourselves into a state of total exhaustion. And you might be asking yourselves, why did I do that? So I just wanted to share a few thoughts about some of the different aspects of what is meaningful about undertaking studies here at Kibi, undertaking a BA under Mewar University. From the point of view of those of us who are designing and trying to implement the program, of course, our wish is simply to integrate the ever-changing methods of academia with the timeless wisdom of Buddha. And it's certainly, practically speaking, wonderful that you can use a BA to pursue further studies at other universities around the world. There is a tremendous satisfaction in completing a degree. And every one of you is going to carry the dignity of this experience and this accomplishment with you for the rest of your life. Now, none of you came here straight out of high school. You already came here as accomplished people, whether you're trained in the Shedra or coming out of universities in your own countries with BAs and MAs. There must be a reason that you came all this way to attempt to study the Buddha Dharma in um, sometimes challenging, though often more often rewarding uh, circumstances. One of the main reasons I believe people love to come here and study, of course, is to enjoy being in the presence of His Holiness Gyawa Karmapa. Um, it's also a very rare and precious <coughs> opportunity to be in a truly international environment of shared values. And of course, at Kibi, you're able to study Buddha Dharma in a way that just isn't possible anywhere else. From my contact with each of you over the past three years, I know that we all share a wish to understand dharma better. And I know that many of you aspire to be translators or interpreters or scholars. So it makes sense to study Buddhism in the land of its origin, in a monastic context, and along the way, learning some of the scriptural languages that make it more accessible to you. This is really the best way to accomplish the goal. But what we're doing together at Kibi is not only studying Buddha Dharma. We're not simply acquiring a tool to move a static content from one language context to another or to transmit something solid from one person to another. We're also learning the art of a very different kind of translation, a cultural translation, a personal translation, a translation that is at the same time a transformation. In the process of our studies, in our wish to translate the Buddha's teachings into something that we can understand, in fact, in the end, it's we ourselves who are translated. We are transformed from being individuals coming from different countries and different contexts. Suddenly, we are not from Bulgaria anymore, and we're not from Malaysia anymore, we're not from Canada anymore, we're from Kibi. We've created for ourselves a shared source, a shared context, a shared language, a shared language more or less. We find our ways. And what I hope most deeply is that we now have a shared confidence and trust that this is a process that we will never let lapse, that will continue. I'm so, so happy for all of you. And I so look forward to meeting you all again and again and I promise to very happily and joyfully celebrate all of your many successes to come. Thank you.